2005 on an 05 Bentley Continental GT, 6 litre W12 twin turbo petrol. This one in finished in chestnut metallic, gorgeous colour in the sunlight when it goes outside. It looks a bit red there, but it's definitely a bronzy brown when, it, when the sunlight hits. It's a really, really lovely colour, this one, with the factory chrome wheels. Uh, James will detail all the service history there. There's a few, a few stamps in the boot with this one as well. Two keys, that sort of thing. James will detail all that on the website. Bodywork wise, we'll start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine start up. Lovely and straight up the bonnet itself. No big dings or dents. A lovely good shine to the paintwork there. The odd light surface scratch here and there where it's been washed over the years. A little bit of a touch in stone chip there on the left hand side. But lovely and flat on the paint side of things. Across the front grille there, you'll see we've got a few very, very light scratches there on the on the painted factory grille there. All nice and tidy across the front edge. All the lights are nice and clear. There's no cracks in those, no moisture. So we come down the left-hand side, a few little stone chips here and there. We'll be about on the front bumper. No big scuffs or scrapes at all on the bumper. A little bit of a touch in there on the corner, but no big scuffs or scrapes. Just a few stone chips there, which you can't see on the camera there. As we come onto the right hand side again, no scuffs or scrapes, but a few little stone chips here and there. The odd little touch in the stone chip as well. So we come at the top of the driver's wing again, a few little stone chips towards the top and apart from that, lovely and flat again in the paint, a really good shine to it. The odd very, very light surface scratch where it's been washed. No corrosion at all coming through around the arches. And lovely and straight down that whole right hand side there with a good reflection. Chrome wheels, we've got uh, Pirelli. P0 is all the way around on this. That says a lot about a car when all the tyres are a good brand, all matched. Being fairly picky, the wheels could do with the refurb in places, but no big no big chunks coming off, anything like that. Across the lower sill section, lovely and tidy across there. Again, a few little stone chips on the lower half, but that's all. The driver's door itself, no real complaints at all there. Wing mirror cap, a few little marks, but no cracks in the glass, anything like that. Up onto the roof again. Lovely and flat on the paint side of things across the roof. No dings or dents, no nasty marks, uh, but the odd little surface scratch here and there, just where it's been washed. As I come down the back edge of the door, no big chunks out of that, the odd little mark, and there's a little scratch here just underneath the handle, but that's all. Really, really good colour, this one. And down onto the driver's rear quarter and around the arch again, no corrosion, no alley rash, no rust, no nastiness at all down that right hand side there. Lovely and straight up the quarter. All the chrome's nice and shiny and bright around the windows. I'll show you that wheel there. Another Pirelli P0 on that rear right. No heavy scratching around the fuel filler cap or nasty marks. See how straight it is down that right hand side. Down onto the rear lights again. Lovely and clear on the rear bumper and the rear light on the right hand side. No scuffs or scrapes at all across the back bumper. Again, left hand side, lovely and clean and tidy. All the way across the lower half, a few little stone chips there. And no heavy scratching on the bumper boot aperture where things get put in the boot. Lovely and crystal clear on the rear lights. Spoilers nice and tidy, no pain flakes of that at all. Lovely and tidy down the whole of the boot. No heavy scratching across the lips, sometimes where the boot gets closed by. And again, really flat on the paint side of things. No major marks at all across the boot there. As we come round the left hand side, Again, real good shine of the paint. Lovely, lovely colour, this one. We'll have a look at the roof from the left-hand side. No complaints there at all. Again, the odd light surface scratch where it's been washed, but that's all. Down that lovely big rear quarter around the arch. No corrosion once again around the arch. No rust, no dings, no alley rash, no nothing nasty at all down the quarter. Wheel and tyre on the rear left again. Prelly P0 on there as well. The odd light surface scratch where it's been washed, but that's all to complain about really. Down that left hand rear quarter, no dings, no dents, scuffs or scrapes at all down that left hand side quarter. Across the lower half again, a few little stone chips here and there. And up the passenger door, again lovely and tidy. On the back edge of the door, no big chips out of there. The odd little stone chip lower down and maybe a couple of little ones on the door. No heavy scratching around the handle. Lovely and fresh down the top there. As you come down the front of the passenger door, no complaints, no parking dings or dents. And around that rear uh, front arch, sorry, on the left hand side again, and a wing top, no dings or dents at all. Across that, you can see how straight it is down that left hand side. Onto the interior now. Lovely colours again on the interior.
door card itself, lovely and tidy, no grubbiness to the handle, no real wear around the window switches and no delamination to that lovely curved bit of wood on the insert of the door, no scuffs or scrapes on the door card, rips or tears, there's a tiny little mark at the top there. I think that's a very, very dark brown door top, dash top, a very, very dark brown, really nice colours that one there. Onto the seat itself, you've got the heated memory seats there, a little bit of wear at the bolster, but no rips or tears, just a little bit of discoloration on the corner and on the lower half there, not bad at all that. Nice and clean and tidy on the rest of the seat there. Lovely factory Bentley brown mats there, protecting the carpet underneath. Dash top, no cracks across the dash top. Lovely and fresh, really nice and tidy down the centre console with no delamination to any of the wood. All the dials are nice and clear and easy to read with minimal wear to the steering wheel. No real wear to the armrests either. Standard Bentley headline and just start to sag a little bit at the back. I've seen them a lot worse than that, that's for sure. The seat moving forward as it should when you, when you open it. Nice and tidy on the rear seats there from the right hand side. And again, no delamination or heavy scratching at all to the wood in the centre console there. Lovely and clean and tidy in there. And again, you put the seat back. No. Back seat back as it should. Into the boot now. Uh, does the boot work off the key button? Yeah. The boot does work off the key button as well. Lovely and clean and tidy in the, in the boot there. Still got all the plastic on the lock there. You'll see the plastic still on the on the boot pull up. You've got your factory spacer, spa, sorry, factory spacer set. Yeah, that's the colour code factory space saver wheel. I got my words out, lot wheel nuts there, all nice and complete in the boot of that with the warning triangle. Onto the left hand side front again, no delamination to the door. Door cards in lovely condition, no heavy wear at all to the handle or around the window switches. We'll do the rear first, all nice and tidy on the rear seat. No rips or tears in there. Nice place to be sat that. Onto the passenger front seat again, heated electric memory seats. All working as they should. Down the bolster there, all nice and tidy with minimal wear really to the bolster. A little bit of creasing and discoloration at the bottom, but no rips or tears. Not a little bit of stickiness on the seat itself. Dashboard from the left hand side, unmarked. Onto the engine bay now. 6 litre twin turbo petrol engine. James is going to fire it at life for us. Fires up without hesitation there. Hear the fans kicking in. A nice warm day today. Lovely, lovely colour that one. Really, really nice colour. Aircon's nice and cold as well. And there you have it the 2005 and an 05 Bentley Continental GT in a gorgeous chestnut metallic paintwork there. James will detail all the service history, number of keys and all that sort of stuff on the website. Any information, just give us a ring or an email, Facebook 0191 268 9011.